Hi, my name is and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the JQ Doc jQuery plugin um, for your website. Uh, basically, this is a JQ Doc, real, uh, what I have on the Able to Have website at the moment now. I can see over here you get the Mac like um, bar. So, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to install this. So, first of all, what I'm going to do before anything is I have got a simple page up here with a div called menu um, and I have some images in there which are the images that I use on ableswap.com so if I just refresh this page basically this is what I have here now you don't need to worry about the size of the images too much as JQ Doc um, does actually resize the images for you or well, you specify the size of the images you want and then that resizes it but I do recommend actually uh, resizing these images down to the size you want really just to uh, improve like page optimization and you know things like just to make the just to bring the file size down a bit bit more than what they are uh, but just this tutorial I'm going to leave them like this and not bother resizing them um, so the first thing you want to do is actually uh, what, I'm, what I'm just going to do first is actually delete this file. Um, so basically, all I have is an index.php and a um, jQuery file. So, first of all, we need to actually script type is text for slash JavaScript is to um, link in this jQuery.js file. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we've got jQuery in there. What I'm going to do now is, if you go over to Google and just and just type in, if I put that back on there, um, type in JQ Doc in Google, and it's this one here, wizard.com. Um, click on there, and you'll get this. A bit of instruction about it. JQ Doc is a jQuery plugin that transforms images into a Mac-like doc menu. With icons that expand and roll over, and just gives you a bit of information about it. And if you go highlight over here and go to examples, um, this will give you a lot of examples you can actually use, um, and is really is, is really a good feature. Um, so I'm just going to click on this one here as it's the one um, I've used in ableton.com and gives you a little demo here of what it looks like. Now, obviously the the um, the title, the uh, what, what was it? What was it called? The label underneath. So where it's got favorites, pictures, music, and um, the label of the image that um, is slightly different to what you've seen on ableswap.com because I have just tweaked the CSS a little bit um, to make it uh, a bit more unique to my website. Um, okay, so basically what we need is. Under the HTML, it's just basically this div ID of menu which we have already got here. This one contains a page which will do a bit more, like um, like it tells you in the CSS, I think. And um, there you go, position hide for menu initialer, and then basically leave room for the menu to expand. I'm not going to show you that really too much at the moment, um, but maybe that's something you might want to keep in. But if you've got plenty of room on either side of the menu, then you don't really need it. Um, so anyway, that's the HTML, the div there, what you really need, um, which is I have in the Dreamweaver. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this JavaScript here. So what you want to do is copy all this and paste it in the head. So obviously you'll need your script type is text. JavaScript. Okay, give me that in a bit. Um, actually, ah, just leave it like that. Um, so it gives you a bit more, like, there's some like comments here to see what happens. Basically, what what you really need to know in here is um, the menu here must be the div ID of the menu you want so if your menu is something like my menu then this must be my menu like that um, and there's some options here which I will go through uh, later on in the video 
So that's basically that. We save that out. Um, obviously, nothing had happened yet. Um, and you'll need the CSS. So just copy all the CSS. Uh, the fun off. And then paste that into here as well. So style Okay. Um and we'll just speed that in a bit. Um so what I'm going to do well you don't you can delete pages I'm not using it at the moment. Um you could do like body ID page and that would work like that but um page is just the egg extra day for what you you can use just just to make sure like so your width is 100 percent just to make sure that the uh the page is doesn't it keeps it to the size of the browser screen basically um which is something you might want to consider if um you're creating like a, a sort of dynamic styling website if, if you sort of know what i mean with that um anyway that's that and same with these menus here these need to be my menus what I want to do is just change this back to menu and just keep things all the same um, now you're probably thinking well that's all the code we've used here that's all it's shown us so we refresh and that should work but as you can see um, nothing happens on the page after we refresh that's because we need the jq doc javascript file now to get this um, it was a bit tricky to find at first but you want to go to downloads jQuery then go archive v2 and open jQuery up and this is the one you want here jq doc uh, version whatever is out at the time and um, so once you get this you can open up either the normal one or the minified version I'm going to get the minified version so what you want to do is select all of this code copy it and then create a new file called um, jqdoc.js jq.js there we go and then paste that in there now when we well obviously we'd have to link it in so just copy that and then change that to jqdoc okay just make sure there we go and now if we refresh the page we should hopefully get there we go we get this as you can see we have no labels on it at the moment to get labels basically um label should be on right okay labels are on it's just that the color of the text is white in the css so if you just change that to say black um and then refresh. As you can see, there's a label home, videos, donate, and about. Uh, basically, whatever's in the title of the image tag is what the label will be. Um, and there's lots more options you can choose. What I'm going to do is, one second. Alright, so if you go back to the JQ Doc website, um, if you go to JQ Doc and then click on options, um, you'll come to this page where you can actually set a lot of options. Um, one option here in the uh, what's given in the example is the size. So what you can do is if you just come down here and then go ah right. So uh, I'm working on the um, a wrong index file I have open. Um, okay, so here we go. Try it now. So change that back to 100. Refresh. Come on, there we go. And you should be able to change that to 50. Oh, why is it not working properly? Right in the um, website, I've gone out to options and it's ma and it's size max, not max size. So there's something to look at the options. So if we try this out now, hopefully 
There we go. It's not really moving because I've replayed to 50, so we should do that to 100. Um, refresh. There we go. We only get it up a bit, which is actually the same as one from here. Um, so anyway, if you go to the options website, the options section of the website, it gives you a lot of options what you can actually use here. So um, let's see. Let's see what we can have. Well, you've seen labels, so whatever's in the title of the image, tag then uh, that will go on underneath that like text. Um, let's see, fade layer, you no know, fade in, the duration, that's might be a good one to try out, duration. Um, so if we put say a thousand, which is a second, so a thousand milliseconds, um, I don't know what the default one is, but can you see how it takes the initial zooming in and zooming out, um, it takes longer. So you can change the duration of how how quick you want to do this. So say one millisecond will be pretty much you know instant bang. Um, you know these these all sorts you can actually play about with this just to make make it a bit more of what you want. You know align and don't forget if you go back to the examples you don't have to have. Um, you know this style also if I just take away this basically this align here top is what happens when the uh, can you see how it is um, let me just save this page actually right, can you see how it sort of comes down like the top of the image is staying to the top of the page and the other and the images are sort of moving below it, if you can sort of see what I mean. It's being sort of moved down. That's what it means by top. So if you do by bottom, then um, you can see how it moves up from the bottom to the top. That might be a better example of what you can see. Um, so that's basically what a line means. So if so, say if you had the um, on the bottom of the page, then. Um, you know using the bottom will be better so basically wherever you've got it um, and I've not tried doing something like right on this one so I just see what it looks like there you go you can do the alignment to the right of the so it come out to the right so you'd have to move the over there which is what I was saying in the examples you might as well just get say the right one just so you get all the right CSS and stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff you can mess around with this um, it is a very interesting plugin, um, and I thought it was very cool. Um, so that's basically it. Just go to this website. Um, you've got all the examples here. All the code is given for you. And like I said, just go to the options part of the website, and it gives you all the options you can use. And you should be good to go. If you need any help with this. Um, you know, just send a comment, send a message to me, or you can even just contact the uh, this guy directly and um, ask him a few questions because he's the one that actually made this, so he probably know more about it than me. Um, but it's just basically a JavaScript at the end of the day, and I should be able to help you out. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.